So I finally watched Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you might be asking, why randomly watch The Clone Wars right now, when the season 7, the final season, came out basically two years ago? Well, it's because Bad Batch Season 2 came out, and I, like, haven't seen the first season or The Clone Wars, so I decided to watch The Clone Wars. You might be asking, but The Bad Batch Season 2 was released on January 5th. Yeah, that's how long it took me to watch The Clone Wars. So, what did I think of it now that I have finally watched it? Okay, we start off with Season 1. Now, Season 1, I've seen, like, three times. It's the only season I've seen that amount of times because every time I try to watch The Clone Wars, I just watch season one and then don't continue on. So season one was nothing new to me. I basically memorized season one. I do feel like you can't really binge watch season one through f four because like, so you can only really binge watch three of those episodes. So I don't I don't feel like you can binge watch through the entire show that well. I tried doing that, but it didn't really work, as you can tell. It took me three months to finish The Clone Wars. So I don't really find this show bingeable till season 7, 6, where they're shorter. But we'll get to those. So yeah, season 1 was just a good season. Good starting it off. Okay, now we get to season 2, which is... The same gist as season one, but they they have better episodes. I feel like the episodes were executed better, and they had better arcs and stuff throughout it. That's all I can really say. Season three, I feel like it is like one of the good seasons. I think it's like one of the best seasons of the show. Um, just just because the episodes are well paced and really well put together, and the arcs are like really well it basically goes for season four as well okay now now i start talking spoilers if um, you haven't seen the show yet which i don't know why you wouldn't have go watch it even though it took me a long time to watch it but go watch it <laughs> anyways so the end of season four we get darth maul back yes I, I really like Darth Maul's appearance. I wish he was in the Clone Wars more. He was in... It was the end of Season 4, the beginning of Season 5, the end of Season 5, and the end of Season 7. That's only, like, four parts that he's in. It's not a lot. I wish we saw more of Darth Maul. But the times he, he is on, he steals the screen. He he is really good in the Clone Wars. He is like one of the best characters in the Clone Wars show. My favorite character being Ahsoka still. is the only character I like in the Clone Wars that's originally from the Clone Wars. Season 5 was very disappointing. It started off well with Darth Maul, stuff like that. And then we don't see him until the end of the season. And then we don't see him after that. And then the middle part of season 5 was just so slow. You cannot binge watch that. I tried. No. Do not try binge watching the middle of season 5. You can't. You can't binge watch the middle of season 5. It's painful. It The middle of season 5 is extremely slow for me. There's a couple good episodes in there, but just the middle of season 5, I didn't found it work that well. Season 6, way too short. But I guess it is a combination of season 7, but season 6 was just too short. I, I love the Yoda episodes they had at the end there. I really enjoyed those episodes. Those, those were my favorite of season 6. The, season 6, it took me a day to watch. I binge watched that easily, no problem right there. I was able to get right on through with season 6. Now... The best season of the entire show, season 7. Now, the first arc with the Bad Batch, I, I love I love the Bad Batch. I, I love their introduction they had. What did, I started their show, I'll, I'll reveal that in a different video if you want to know that. But, yeah, the, the first four episodes were good. And then, we get Ahsoka's return. Really good. Really good. Like, I forgot to mention in Season 5 at the end of it as well. Ahsoka's leaving. Oh, they executed that perfectly. I knew I knew she left because I, like, 
Like, before I watched the show, I knew she was gonna leave. But they, they executed that perfectly. The reason why she left, because the council doesn't... She, like, if the council didn't trust her, she didn't want to be there anymore, stuff like that. But it was, it was executed perfectly. I found it perfectly. They did it emotionally and stuff like that. And for Ahsoka being my favorite character in the Clone Wars show, followed by Anakin and Obi-Wan, stuff like that, yeah. For her being my favorite character in the show, they did that part perfectly. I knew, I knew she returned, but season 5, the end, end of final episode, was, was perfect for that. And then we get to season 7, where she comes back, and this arc was too long. It is important, but... Four episodes. I felt like it needed to be three or two, maybe, but it, it did not. It did not need to be that long. It it was too long. It did not need to be this long, of an arc. But it is important to execute Order sixty six. This this episode. This this arc was perfect. Ahsoka returns, saying Mandalore's in trouble. She goes fight Darth Maul. Darth Maul's scared. Execute Order 66. If Darth Maul is scared of Execute Order 66, you should be. You can hear him screaming in terror. Oh my goodness. And then, you have like one of the best fights of in the history of Star Wars. You have Darth Maul versus Ahsoka. And that, that was, that was a really good fight. That, that was a super good fight right there. And then, the, those, that was just the first beginning. Two episodes. The last two is Order 66. And those last two episodes were even better than the first two. Like, you, you, it's extremely sad because you hear Rex talking about how the clones were his brothers. And then, yeah. And he even plays the music that you heard in Revenge of the Sith. We'll come back to Revenge of the Sith in a second. But, yeah. Execute Order 66 was well put. It was really well. I felt like they did it like... Perfectly in the Clone Wars. I even found Execute Order 66 better than Revenge of the Sith. I felt like they did Order 66 way better than they did in Revenge of the Sith. And then, in the Clone Wars, they, the, one of the reasons why they did it better is because you know who the clones are now. In, in the prequel series, you, you, do not care, you do not care about the clones at all. And then in the Clone Wars, you care about them perfectly. So if you are watching the prequel series right now, do not skip over the Clone Wars. It The prequel series is incomplete without the Clone Wars in there. You need the Clone Wars in there for it to be completed. Without it in there, it feels incomplete and it feels like a story is missing. That That's what was really well about the Clone Wars. You cannot have the prequel trilogy without the Clone Wars because it just feels incomplete. The Clone Wars, perf it was a perfect ending. It was a really well put together ending for the Clone Wars. Now, now, now that I got all that out of the way, I felt like Season 7 was almost perfect. This is that Ahsoka arc that was really in there. Season 5, beginning was perfect, ending was perfect. But the middle was off. Season 6... It's a good season, and the rest the rest are just good. Season 3 is a good tier, but... Yeah, my only complaint about the entire show is, like like I said, you cannot binge watch it. It's, it takes a while to get through. And there's, like, there's some random episodes in there that do not add anything to the plot at all. Like, Season 6 adds a bunch to the plot. Season 5, beginning and end as to the plot. But there's just like a bunch of Clone War Wars that the characters learn nothing in it at all. And it, they just, it's just there. Like, it doesn't have General Grievance, Count Duke, it doesn't have any of the main villains. It's just some random fight they just throw in there that's four episodes long. We do not need those episodes. It was like that for Season 5 in the middle, it was like that for like some of Season 4, some of Season 2. There's just some random episodes in there, and they do not need to be in there. And those episodes, I barely paid attention to because they are not important. You do not need to watch those episodes at all. Those episodes were not important to the story. And I, I just, that's my only problem with this entire show.
that you can easily skip those episodes and be just fine continuing continuing the story because those episodes added nothing in. So if I do rewatch the Clone Wars, I'll be make sure to skip those episodes because they're just completely pointless to watch and just extends the show. But overall, I do find the Clone Wars to be a, a really good show. I do recommend this one. If you haven't seen this and you are a fan of Star Wars, watch it. If you do if you do not like the prequel series, this show will like make you appreciate it more. So watch the Clone Wars if you have not. And yeah, out of 10, I give the Clone Wars a 8.5 out of 10. The reason why I don't give it higher is just because of those episodes that you can easily skip in here. Just because of those episodes is the reason why the rating's not here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.